Yeah, Diana, he wants everyone to see it because this is another family Detroit business under attack. And this time, even bulletproof glass was barely enough to protect the clerk. A terrifying night for a convenience store clerk. Watch as these young men enter the BP store at Schoolcraft and Greenfield. Seconds later, they attack the clerk who comes outside of the bulletproof vestibule. First, they chuck a soft drink at him, and then they begin pummeling him. The ambush doesn't last long. The guys leave. Ali, the victim, is okay, but exasperated. It was a matter of survival. You know, I had to stand up for myself. Ali says the guys came at him after he called them out for shoplifting. You can see at least one of the men sticking items in his pocket. They would start taking some items, and I told them to put the items back, and they, they refused to. And then they would start getting hostile. The attack went down around 12.30 this morning. Hours later, someone comes back and fires a shot into the bulletproof glass. The bullet almost penetrates the thick shielding. We don't know how to deal with this. Even if we hire a security guard, a security guard, you know, he can't take things into his own hands like any, you know, only the officers can. Ali and his boss are tired of the unending crime inside the station. Running a business is near impossible. We can't even afford to keep open at night, but if we don't open, we'll come back the next morning. The stations are broken in. And back here live, you can see this shielding and see how close that bullet came to piercing it. It's all chipped and broken. We do believe, though, that the bullet did not actually make it through. Certainly no one was hit, no one was injured, but everyone here very frustrated. They just want an end to this, and they want these guys caught. They're out there tonight. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, I'm Tom Waite, 7 Action News. Diana, back to you. Tom, does the clerk recognize these guys and any idea who they might be? Well, he does say they've been in before. He thinks they are guys from the neighborhood, and there's a lot of frustration because when police did arrive here today to take the report, police said that the staffing is just so short they weren't able to get here in the time that they wanted to get here when the call came in. Police are very apologetic, according to the clerk and the owner here. They say again that there just weren't that many people on last night, so they couldn't get here to make a stop to catch these guys before they escaped. Diana?